Hey y'all, it's me Nina Lauren and I am back with a very quick word from the Lord and so today's scripture reference is actually Romans chapter 4 verse 11. I'm going to read it and then we're going to get into the prophetic flow a little bit. Um, so first before we read, we thank you Holy Spirit so much for this person who's watching right now. I pray that you would speak directly to their hearts and Holy Spirit, I just give you access to speak through me. And I just pray, Lord, that this word would take root and bring hope and encouragement and the strength to not grow weary in doing good, but to just press in and press through and trust you in the process of what you're doing in our hearts and in our lives. In the name of Jesus, amen. Okay, so I'm also in the car. I need to start heading back home, um, but I want to read this over you really quickly. So this is Romans chapter uh, 4, verse 11. And and it's talking about Abraham being justified through faith. So if you have your Bible, go ahead and read along with me. And it says, and he received circumcision as a sign, a seal of righteousness that he had by faith while he was still uncircumcised. So then he is the father of all who believe but have not been circumcised in order that righteousness might be credited to them. Okay, and so the key point that I want you to take away is that God was saying that, um, that Abraham were circumcised as a sign a seal of righteousness. So I wanna to talk to you today about the circumcision the circumcision that the Lord is currently doing on your heart, okay? And let's talk about, let's talk about it, okay? Hold on, I'm pulling out, y'all. Y'all know I be getting these videos done as I can, okay? So I had to, I had to go on the run today. I didn't even have a place to film at home anyway, so. Um, so yeah, so the Lord began to speak with me this morning as I was in this secret place. Uh, he put Romans 4.11 on my heart. I've been seeing 4.11 everywhere. And I know it has more meanings, um, but I thought it was interesting that he brought me to Romans 4.11. And now this is coming off of um, yesterday going through a really difficult time. And I just felt like the Lord was doing more stripping and more pruning. And so when I think about circumcision, now... Um, I know a lot of ladies watch me, so we might not necessarily be able to relate, but a circumcision is considered a surgery. Like it, it's literally considered a surgery. Uh, they literally go in and some of it is um, by knife and some of it, I know they have new like laser technology. My my son got circumcised when he was in the NICU um, and it, I can't even remember what they told me they did, but um, it just seemed really really uncomfortable um so anyways it's surgery is painful anytime that you are getting some type of thing cut away stripped or removed that is painful how many of you can say right now um that god is pruning you he's circumcising your heart he's doing a work in you and it's painful okay but what i can tell you is this is what i want to encourage you with very quickly i'm not going to make this too long is to lean in lean into the surgery lean into the circumcision because the stripping away the cutting away of things in your life is god circumcising you and and the circumcision of your heart is a sign it's a seal of righteousness those now remember those who truly walk with the lord are going to be sealed with this seal of righteousness so if you say you know what this is too much for me i can't handle this I don't want the Lord to take away uh, my addiction to alcohol. I don't want the Lord to take away uh, this relationship. I, I, I want to choose this relationship instead. You know, I, this is too much. And you choose to walk away. You will not be sealed. Okay, you will not be sealed. But for those of you who choose to endure, who choose to allow the word to do, a, allow the Lord to circumcise your heart, you're going to be sealed with the seal of righteousness. Okay, and so as the Lord is coming through in this next season uh, with his winnowing fork and he's beginning to separate the wheat from the chaff, the real from the, the unreal, the sign, the sign that you are, are with God, are of God, are for God is the seal of righteousness. It's for those who allow the circumcision of the heart to be complete. So I want to encourage you this morning to allow the Lord to do a work on your heart partner with him don't resist him 
whatever is coming up for you, no matter how painful it is, allow the Lord in. Allow him to strip you of it. Allow him to uh, restore you and to cut away those dead things and revive your heart. Okay, and I want to leave you with one last thing. I wrote it down. Um, it says, take courage, grab my hand. I am exposing enemy plots. Under my covering, you will be free. Out of my covering, you will be overtaken. So as painful as it is right now, it's leading you to a greater freedom and victory. But if we resist, you're actually going to be overtaken by the enemy. Okay, in this next season. So I just want to encourage you with that. I love y'all. As always, make sure to like this video. Comment down below if this word bless you, says this blessed me. Okay, um, also subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Share this with your friends, your family. Um, if you guys feel led to sow into the ministry, links below are to give. If you are wanting to join my monthly mentorship group for females, link below to register. Prices go up in September. So right now is the perfect time to hop in. And uh, yeah, I love you all with the love of the Lord. If anyone needs healing or deliverance, the uh, link below to book a uh, slot in our calendar is uh, in the description. So everything you need is in the description. Follow me on socials. I love y'all and I will see you on the next one.